Hi everyone, I'm Josh Hickman. I'm one of the digital forensic examiners here at Celebrite. Recently, we released our Insights suite of products and you may have heard some terms getting tossed around like Insights powered by UFED or Insights powered by Physical Analyzer and found yourself wondering, well, what are these things that they're talking about and how do they compare to the Celebrite products I already have? In this video, I'm gonna discuss Insights powered by Physical Analyzer, what it is, how does it compare to other versions of Physical Analyzer, and what you can expect moving forward. First, let's talk about what it is. Quite simply, Insights powered by Physical Analyzer is Physical Analyzer, but more specifically, it's Physical Analyzer 10 or PA10. It is one part of the many parts that encompass the Insights solution. Now let's talk about how it compares to other versions of Physical Analyzer. PA10 is an evolution of PA Ultra, and as such, it has all of the same features that were in PA Ultra, but it differs in that it already has some new features that were not previously available. The name PA Ultra is going to be retired, but its spirit will continue to live on in PA10. When we talk about PA7, though, things do get a little bit different. We will continue to support PA7. It will continue to receive decoding updates, but we have already implemented plans for end of life. Very soon we'll be releasing information about what that end of life process looks like and the roadmap that comes with it. So stay tuned. Now let's talk about access to PA10. If you have a current physical analyzer license, you already have access to PA10. Simply log into the My Celebrite portal, head to your My Products page, download and install, and you're ready to go. Now let's talk about some of the features in PA10. And as I previously mentioned, there are some features that have carried over from PA Ultra. The first is resiliency. This feature is something that we rolled into physical analyzer based on some of the pain points we heard from our customers. Think about this scenario. You're working in PA7 and you've got a few items tagged, you've got some things checked and unchecked for reporting, and you have an unexpected event. PA crashes, uh, you have a power event in your work uh, workspace, and your workstation reboots. Under PA7, you would need to reprocess that entire extraction, recheck, re-uncheck, or re-tag or untag uh, before you could get back to where you were. In PA10, things are a little different. Uh, whenever you tag, untag, check, or uncheck, that work is automatically saved for you. So in the event that you do have something unexpected happen, it's simply a matter of reopening PA10 and going on about your examination. The second item is location semantics. And I actually do have a uh, extraction open that I wanna share with you. I was previously working in this, so I already have a few tabs open. But uh, if you look over to the left, we've got some, some terms here, visited, points of interest, media, other. Uh, these semantics came about based on research that we here at Celebrite conducted and then turned around and applied to Physical Analyzer. So previously what you would see is you would have a series of locations there, you know, where these uh, this location information was coming from, but it was kind of difficult to ascertain like what did this actually mean, right? You've got some data points here, but what does it actually mean? Well, we took our research and we applied it to locations. Now we have these semantics. So if you look at visited, for example, we've got some subcategories here. The items in this overall category and subcategories are items that come from artifacts that we know based on our research uh, indicate the device actually visited these locations. Now, I will warn you, uh, as we are all aware, uh, app developers and uh, Apple and Google uh, constantly change uh, their uh, operating systems and applications. So things are likely to change uh, between versions. So I say that to say this, trust, but verify. Trust what we're telling you, but definitely verify what we're telling you. Again, things can change very quickly or all of a sudden. So definitely make sure you're verifying what we're displaying to you. The second, the uh, third thing I want to talk about is media origin. And again, this is something that came over from PA Ultra. Uh, I've got some images here filtered, and, and these are all items that uh, I took uh, in this particular extraction. And the nice thing about media origin is it will tell you what we assess to be the source of 
these images and, and videos. Uh, and again, this was something that was based on some uh, something we noticed in the community. A common question is like, okay, I have this photo here, but where did it come from, right? If you're in law enforcement, uh, that can make a difference between uh, different criminal charges. If you're working in private sector, uh, that could have implications for your client and stakeholders. So you'll see here, we've got uh, an image here that has capturing device, device captured and the capture origin reasoning native camera app. Again, like with the location semantics, this is based on research that we conducted and then applied that to physical analyzer. And also as with locations, trust what we're telling you, but definitely verify what you're telling you. Again, this is based on our research. It's our best assessment, but definitely make sure you're verifying what you're telling, what we're telling you. The next thing I want to discuss is something that is uh, going to be coming strictly to PA10. This will, is not something that you're going to see in PA7 uh, and definitely not PA Ultra. And that's quicker decoding engine updates. Think about this scenario. You are working on a case and you have a particular chat app that you're interested in. And when PA is finished parsing, you look and there's no parse chats. But you go to the SQLite database that you know contains the chat information and you can clearly see messages in there. Traditionally, what you would have had to do is wait for us at Celebrite to update our decoding engine, roll that into a new version of PA, put that version, that new version of PA through all the rigors of software development. So, you know, writing, uh, internal testing, uh, hardening, beta testing in with our design partners. And then eventually you would get that updated decoding engine that would uh, help you decode that chat application. Well, we've changed that a little bit. Uh, we now offer the ability very soon to update just the decoding engine. So, uh, and, and I can share that with you here, just a small part. Um, this is what the installer screen looks like. So <clears throat> now instead of downloading an entire version of PA, you only have to download this installer. It updates the decoding engine in the version of PA that you have on your workstation. The nice thing about this is it is substantially smaller. And what I mean by that is when you download PA10, that installer can be upwards of nine or 10 gigabytes in size. This installer is substantially smaller. It's only a few hundred megabytes at best. This allows us to be more agile in responding to changes in third-party applications and native applications uh, when they occur. So instead of having to wait for us to develop an entire new version of PA, you just have to wait for us to issue this installer this gets the updated decoding information to you quickly so you can go, get on about your examinations. The last thing I want to discuss, uh, and again, this is something new for PA10, is uh, something that we call Streamline. And my colleague, Paula Rents has got a video for that. Make sure you check it out because it's, we're excited about that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's nice. You're now going to have a direct pipeline between UFED and PA. So. You have a, a device that you need to extract and you want to send that to PA automatically with not, you know, don't wait for me, you fed, just go ahead and send it. Well, you can do that now. Simply hook up your device, start your extraction flow, uh, give you fed some information and then tell it, hey, when you're finished with the extraction, automatically send it to PA. You can walk away from it, uh, attend to some other business and come back and, and PA's got your extraction and it's actively parsing. It's it's really nice feature, but definitely check out Paul's video. It goes into it a little bit more in depth. A couple more things that I want to address. Uh, first is UFED Cloud. UFED Cloud has been rolled into PA10. So now there's no, they're no longer two separate products. When you get PA10, you automatically get uh, UFED Cloud as part of that. So uh, it's all one product now. Uh, so we understand that some of you may not be able to use UFED Cloud based on policy or legal uh, limitations, and that's fine, but it's there if you need it. So hopefully uh, you know, you'll find that useful as well when, when you need it. The last thing I wanna talk about is Celebrate Reader. Reader is not going away. It is staying put, we're not changing it. Uh, it will be there for you to export your extraction information and hand off to your um, investigators or stakeholders uh, when you need it. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can reach us at stump us at Celebrite or dream team at Celebrite or through uh, our technical support. 
but definitely make sure you check out those videos uh, put on by Paul Rents and my other colleague, Jared Barnhart. But if you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out. Thanks.